This episode is brought to you by The Truce Podcast. On August 22nd, 1980, Ronald Reagan delivered this line to a room full of Christians. I know this is a nonpartisan gathering, and so I know that you can't endorse me, but I only brought that up because I want you to know that I endorse you and what you are doing. The Republican nominee endorsing a religion. For most of our history, we evangelicals have been on all sides of the political spectrum. But by 1980, that had changed. We were expected to vote for the GOP. And for better or for worse, we're still dealing with that today. This season on the Truce Podcast, I'm diving deep into why. Why are evangelicals like me tied to one party? It's a giant story involving the Panama Canal, taxes, greed, redemption, murder, media, and just about every cultural battle you can think of. I'll be talking with celebrated historians like Rick Perlstein, Pulitzer Prize winners Francis Fitzgerald and Jesse Isinger, and some of the most dynamic thinkers I've ever interviewed. So often, this story is told through just one lens. It was race, it was money, fears about the end of the world, or backlash against feminism when, really, it was the nexus of dozens of influences. Together, we're going to see this thing from all angles. I've been an evangelical for three decades. Now, I want to slow down and ask, has this been good for the people of God? Let's explore that question together. Truce is the show that uses journalistic tools to look inside the Christian church. We press pause on the culture wars in order to explore how we got here and how we can do better. Subscribe to Truce, that's T-R-U-C-E, anywhere you get podcasts, or listen at trucepodcast.com. New episodes start April 16th.